Hi everyone, I'm Adrian Dwyer, Chief Executive of Infrastructure Partnerships Australia. As you know, last week I was down in Melbourne for the Victorian budget. Today I'm here in Canberra for the federal budget. The team's been in the lockup for what is Treasurer Scott Morrison's third budget, probably the last before the next federal election. These are the things you need to know. In a budget that is largely focused on low and middle income tax cuts, headline infrastructure funding sees a $2 billion reduction over the forward estimates. This represents a cut from $23.5 billion in last year's budget to $21.5 billion in this year's budget. Looking to the longer term, an additional $11 billion would be needed over the next four years to meet the decade average investment level. This will be disappointing to the states and territories because the warm infrastructure narrative pre-budget has not been met with cold hard cash in the budget papers. Beyond the $21.5 billion included in the forward estimates, it's not clear from the budget papers exactly when or if any additional funding will fall in the outer years. So how does this budget compare with past budgets? Unfortunately, we're seeing a further decline in infrastructure share of Commonwealth expenditure. Infrastructure funding is now a touch over 1% of general government sector spending over the forwards. That compares unfavourably with last year's 1.2% and falls further short of the 1.5% long-term average. As we expected, the budget papers point to a $5 billion commitment to Melbourne Airport Railing. The commitment does not appear to hit the budget in the four-year forward estimates, either as a grant or as equity. However, the Commonwealth does indicate a willingness to take an equity stake in the project. It's not clear, however, how this would work in practice. The budget papers don't confirm the renewal of the National Partnership Agreements, with the current MPAs due to expire in 12 months. The National Partnership Agreements are an important tool for the states and the industry to get certainty over the flow of Commonwealth infrastructure dollars. We'll be looking for further details of new MPAs before the next budget, so the states and the sector can form a stable view of the long-term funding envelope. Thanks for listening. If you want to see more of these budget recaps, be sure to follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn, where I'll be posting our upcoming videos. For our members, keep an eye out for our special budget report newsletter that will drop into your inbox this evening. If you're not a member, you can subscribe to Pipeline Reports for free. Go to infrastructurepipeline.org and register for updates. I'll give you access to all of the information on projects from tonight's budgets and right around Australia and New Zealand, as well as monthly analysis from the team. Thanks again for watching and see you on our next budget recap.